Is to do Quantum Leap any good? Welcome to Sidetrack, your sci-fi TV and movie channel. Now, something you need to know about me. Despite what this hairline is saying, I am actually relatively quite young. I was born in the 90s and therefore never watched the original Quantum Leap. So, going into this new series, I was completely blind. So, wait, you've never seen Quantum Leap? Da -da 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 no? First of all, I just want to say how... I really wish I would have seen the original series, and I am going to go back and watch them at some point. The entire premise of this show has all the hallmarks of a fantastic science fiction television show for me. And the premise of the show, which involves time travel, is right up my alley. I absolutely love time travel. That's why I love Doctor Who, I love Back to the Future. But seriously, you've never seen Quantum at all? Any movie that has time travel or something to do with controlling time i absolutely love there's another tv show that i used to watch it's not really science fiction but there was a show i used to watch called bernard's watch and he used to be able to press a little stop watch and stop time uh, i used to love it and i used to always want to uh, be able to do that i actually have a I have a fob watch right now so let's see if i can stop time don't forget if you're new to the channel please like subscribe and hit that bell notification it really helps us out also if you enjoy the content, consider becoming a fully fledged side tracker. Hit that join button. No. <laughs> I have done a little bit of research into what Quantum Leap was, and to be honest, the first episode of the new series, the reboot, actually does do a pretty good job of explaining who they are and actually does link back to the old series. But essentially, if you've not seen it, because I haven't, there's a scientist called Sam Beckett who... Uh, joins this program to create something to do with time travel and essentially he manages to go back in time via a quantum leap where he's then transported into other people's bodies but he was stuck in the past as soon as he helped someone out um, he would then leap into someone else and then it would carry on like that for a while but he never actually returned home in the new series, they've kind of modernised everything and they try and work on new algorithms and stuff because they want to try and see if they can bring Sam Beckett home. But there is a character called Ben, who is now, for all intents and purposes, the new Sam Beckett. He's the main character, who for whatever reason, I don't quite know yet, I've only seen the first episode, he rewrites the algorithm for their magical AI machine and jumps into the Quantum Leap machine. It is then transported back in time into the body of someone who is committing a crime. Now his wife appears to him as a hologram. I'm not sure whether the hologram thing is, is something that used to happen in the original series or whether or not that's unique to this season, but I thought that was a really cool idea. The fact that they could still communicate with the present and get information to help them with their mission. And the fact that they're using an AI now to basically predict what action they need to take in order to save whoever it is they're trying to save. I have just had a quick look at um, the wiki and the hologram thing is something that's in the original season as well. So that's pretty cool. So the original series first aired in 1989, which was three years before I was born. And the final episode aired in 1993 on the 5th of May. So I wouldn't have even been one when that ended. Aww, little baby. But what are my overall thoughts of the TV show so far? Well, what for one, it's got time travel, so it's already pretty awesome. The premise of going back in time and saving people's lives in order to change the timeline for whatever reason is interesting. I like that kind of storytelling. But there's also the mystery element to it now. We don't know why Ben has jumped into the quantum machine. We don't know if he's ever going to be able to come back out. Maybe he'll suffer the same fate as Sam Beckett. Maybe he'll never return. But also... Knowing that a lot of Quantum Leap fans are going to want Dr. Sam Beckett to return, I'm also thinking that all of this is leading up to a big reveal where he's going to return. The whole mission is to, is to get Sam Beckett back. Now, the actor who plays Sam Beckett has basically said he's not going to be in the TV show, but maybe that's a red herring. I don't know. The fact that they mention his name at the very beginning, the fact that they mentioned that they were trying to get him back, and then Ben all of a sudden adds in this crazy algorithm and then jumps in unexpectedly. It seems like there's a mission afoot. It seems like something is going on and it seems like 
that is the only logical conclusion. If they're going to eventually bring Dr. Sam Beckett back, that's going to appease the old fans. It's going to link the new fans to the old story. Uh, and then they can basically move on because Sam Beckett will have come back and he'll be like, well, I don't want to do that again. And he's going to leave kind of thing. Overall, I quite like it. It's pretty good. Uh, it's good science fiction. The special effects are pretty good. Um, there are a few a few points of it where you can tell it's a green screen and it looks a little bit bad but the whole room with like the AI machine and everything like that it looks pretty pretty cool uh, if you don't look at it too hard kind of thing um, yeah the premise is good absolutely love the first episode and I can't wait to watch the rest of the season let me know what you think. Have you seen Quantum Leap? Have you seen the first episode? Have you seen the second episode? I've only seen the first. So let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And I will see you in another video. See you later.